Hello, everyone. I'm excited to talk with you about the Little School of Big Change, answer all your questions. Uh, whatever comes up, I'm happy to chat about it. So I'm going to um, start by just sharing a little bit about the school and how it works. Um, and I have several questions. I just know them in my head. And I've had several that have been sent in um, from people who have questions about the school. Uh, I've been running the Little School of Big Change for almost five years. It'll be five years in June. And so the questions are really, um, really consistent. You know, the same sorts of things are on people's minds. So I'm going to just share some of those frequently asked questions with you, uh, talk about how they've come up in the past, tell you some stories about how people have changed, how the school works, what you can expect. And again, if you're uh, joining in as you're joining, if you have questions, feel free to just put them um in the comments and I will speak to them. And if you're watching this after the fact, after this live is over, uh, put your questions in the comments as well because I'll be coming back here and, and speaking to them or answering them that way. So uh, the Little School of Big Change, I get giddy <laughs> just talking about it. Uh, I love this course so much. I, I created the school in 2017. So like I said, it's been running for almost five years since June of 2017. Um, because at that time, I had recently published the little book of big change. Uh, a lot of people were finding it and finding a lot of freedom from their habits. And a lot of people were finding it and saying, okay, I know this is it. Like, I know there's something in here for me. I know like this just resonates. It makes sense. It lands with me and I need more. I need to talk with you more and I, or I have a million questions or, you know, I'm seeing it, but I'm having some blind spots and I'm hitting up against some, some obstacles and things that come up. So, uh, you know, I was doing a ton of coaching, just a lot of one-to-one -one coaching at that time. And the questions that just like I said about the questions about the course, the questions, uh, and not really so much questions, but just issues that people were coming up against as they were exploring this bigger understanding, as they were seeing how it relates to themselves and their habits and their issues um, were so consistent. So I really wanted to create a container similar to the book, but, but live and interactive and where I was able to walk someone through this understanding, helping them see in real time how this relates to, you know, a binge eating habit, depression, anxiety, relationship patterns, whatever it might be, because the understanding is universal. What we're pointing to, what, what the little school of big change helps people explore is 100% universal. It has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with how your habit shows up, what your habit is, or if it's even a habit, whatever it is, right? Whatever shows up, how anxiety shows up, how depression or moods show up. It's deeper than all of that. So much deeper than all of that. So people look in this direction and things shift. It's just how it goes. People look outside of their constant repetitive chatty, incredibly biased, made up thinking, which is where we tend to live. It's where we're sort of identified. We, we see that that's going on. And in the school, I point people in a different direction. We see that, we see how a mind works. We see what's going on. We feel how it feels. And then we shift over here and we, we look at what's beyond that. What's behind that? What's bigger? What else is there besides this repetitive loop of habitual thinking? And when people look in that direction, amazing things start to open up. And that those things are there right now. They're there all the time. We're not adding anything. We're just helping helping people, I guess, become less identified with their thinking. And you know, we're all identified with thought. Our mind has been talking in first person since we were two years old. Especially when we're struggling. Especially when we're suffering. It's it's creating the problem and its habitual demands and thoughts and worries. And then it's jumping in, trying to solve the problem. Do this, do that, try this, you know? And I remember it so clearly from my days and all of that, that it's just exhausting, absolutely exhausting, frustrating, hard. I mean, there's so much 
just so much shame and guilt and like, why can't I get this right? That was my feeling. And I know that's the feeling of a lot of people I work with. I have tried everything. I've done all the right things. I'm working really hard. Why can't I get it right? Why can't I figure this out? And it's not because there's anything wrong with you. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you at all. And I don't care what you're struggling with, how long you've been struggling with it. There is nothing wrong with you. And you, you aren't feeling stuck in these habits and anxiety and, and things like that because you're doing something wrong. We just haven't been shown another option. When our mind is running on repeat, demanding things and talking about things all the time, and it just looks true and real to us, we listen. We just do. When it looks like that's where answers are going to come from or that's where clarity is going to come from. You know, when I was in my binge eating habit, my mind was just constantly talking and planning and what if, and if this happens, that happens, and oh no, I feel that, and what will you do to try to, you know, not give in, and just so much thinking. And all I knew, literally all I knew, was to be in that conversation and talk back to my mind. And it was a complete mess, as you may know. It, we're never ever, no one is ever gonna find peace or clarity or freedom by talking their mind out of an issue, by getting in that big mess of thinking and reasoning with it or seeing something within it, we find peace and clarity and freedom by looking beyond that, by saying, oh, this is just a, what a mind does. This is just a mind talking. It's what it does. I don't need, there's no answers for me in there. I don't need to pay attention to that. I don't need to resolve it. I can't resolve it. I'm going to see what else there is. Like, where is this even coming from? What's there beyond it? What if I just let it run and let it be background noise? Then what? So we just look in a completely different direction. And in that different place, again, brand new things are seen that truthfully, like we did never knew to look there. So if you feel like you've been trying everything, spinning your wheels, I so hear you, me too, for years. Almost everyone who comes through the little school of big change feels that way. It's just kind of what we're up against, you know, we're not, we're not new with this. We're super resourceful, super smart people who have tried everything. And the problem with that is the things we're trying again, don't work there. We're, we're jumping in the middle of a bunch of thinking, trying to solve for it. But what happens is, is that doesn't work and our mind blames us. Same mind that's creating the issue, mind you, <laughs> but it, it's now like, oh, look at you. Another thing failed and see, you'll never be free. And then we have the weight of that to live with. And what we start to see in the school is that that is all thought, all of it, all the way down. That's all there is. So the habitual conversations are thought, the, the what are you gonna do today, the strategies and the plans and the, all the action and effort to try to fight a feeling is all thought the urges themselves, the cravings, the, the discomfort that comes up is all thought and all the beating ourselves up and the shame and everything that comes after it and the blaming ourselves and all of that, all thought. So again, we're, we're over here. We have this just going like crazy, contradicting itself, suggesting your habit as a, as a way of comfort, beating you up for going that direction this is what we just need to see. We need to see this for what it is. And I can tell you from five years of doing this with thousands of people that as we see that for what it is, as we wake up to thought as thought, like this is a mind just doing what it does. It's not a problem. There's nothing wrong with this. It loves you. It's working for you. It's perfect in what it's trying to do. We just need to see it for what it is. As we wake up to like, oh, that's just a mind doing what a mind does. It just doesn't have its hooks. We just don't pull up a seat and look at it up close and try to find answers in it. We know better. We learn better. We see, wow, there's no answers in there for me. So it does what it needs to do. And when we aren't staring at it up close like that, we just see new things. It's really obvious. Common sense just leads the way. You know, we see new options. We see new things. We realize, wow, I can feel this. I can hear this yelling in my head. I can feel this discomfort. I can feel this resistance and this tension. And it's okay. It's all just life too. It's not dangerous. It's nothing I need to, to run from or change or fix. 
so it's always a weird thing, you know, when people ask, like, how does change happen? It's so much of a mystery, but it's a really consistent, reliable mystery. <laughs> I don't, I mean, my, my best way to describe it is, again, people kind of come to see their conditioned habitual thoughts and patterns in a new way. And in seeing that, they just don't look so scary anymore. They just lose a lot of their perceived power. And I say perceived power because truly they don't have power. We think they do. We think they do. So so we get very caught up. But as we see things for what it is, as, and we see, wow, well, this is not me. This is just a machine conditioning. This is just conditioning running. And we're not fighting it. And we're not like, no, I can't look. You know, we're like open to it. And we're leaning in. And we're like, okay, I can feel this. I can handle this. And again, that comes not from strategy, but from seeing it for what it is, it just isn't so scary anymore. It just isn't so threatening. It, and, and so we stop running and pushing it away and it just is what it is and it's okay. And when we aren't fighting and running and pushing experience away and trying to outrun it and do things to comfort ourselves and distract ourselves, it's just, it's just not an issue. It just does what it does and typically it just goes away because it's not you know being being held up with so much fear and attention so that's kind of my short answer for like how does all this change that happens for people happen just by being in a course and exploring how we work and that's truly all we do is we talk we look at things i ask you to be really open-minded i ask you to be willing to be wrong and again it's not you that was wrong but i i ask you to to be really dumb, to just say, I don't know. I don't know how life works. I don't know where this habit came from. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of it because what keeps us stuck is all of these thoughts and beliefs that, that become a prison. We think we know, and this is how it has to look, and here's why, and here's what I need to do. And all of those are like little blocks, you know, building up this little prison around us. And the truth is we don't know. My freedom from eight years of binge eating and 15, 20, more than 15, 20 some years of, of pretty serious anxiety was nothing, nothing like I thought it was going to look like. What did I know? I was just, again, I was in my head with my head telling me there's a problem. You need to fix it. Here's how it's going to look. Well, my head didn't know. My head was causing the problem, right? So we get really open, really dumb, as I call it. You know, we just sit in this I don't know space and we see things and we explore what's there beyond this chatty mind and people relax and they say, oh my God, this is what it feels like to have a quiet mind. I haven't felt this in a long time. And in that space, again, any thought, any feeling that arises, it's just not the same. The habitual resisting and pushing and, and counteract, trying to counteract it and trying to control it, that all dies down because that's just seemed to be completely unnecessary. So in the five years that the course has run, again, several thousand people have been through it from, um, my team said 52 countries, but I think we're closer to like 55 countries. So a lot of countries, uh, a lot of people, a lot of issues, a lot of habits. And I mean, it's just amazing every single time what opens up for people. 98% of people say that they're, that things have changed for them after going through the course. Now that doesn't mean that their habit is completely gone, a thing of the past in six weeks, but we really start looking in a different direction. And from there, it's like you're, you're just seeing life in a brand new way. So it's, it keeps on happening. It keeps on opening up. It keeps on deepening. I don't know. It's just amazing. I mean, I, I'm going through it too. You know, I've been in this kind of conversation, teaching this stuff and, and, and seeing more about it myself for, I don't know, like 12 years or so, 11, 12 years now. And honestly, I mean, it just keeps getting better and simpler. It keeps looking simpler and simpler. Like, oh, that was thought too. That was thought too, you know? And it's just amazing. It's amazing that the answer is simplicity. And it always is that, that when it, things start to look and feel simple, you know you're onto something. And, and it's easy, it's amazing. And when things get really complicated, like I can't do this, I, it's gonna take too long, there's too many steps, whenever that starts happening in our heads, it's getting complicated and, and our head is very involved. That's, that's this telling you how you're gonna change 
rather than kind of letting that talk, but seeing, oh no, I don't need to pay attention to that. And then things get really, really simple. So if you're just joining, go ahead and put any questions you have about the course um, in the thread. Um, oh, I love seeing some of our students here sharing some of their experience. Um, so I'm going to say a little bit about how the course works. Um, and then, yeah, maybe you'll have some questions about that. So it is a six week course. Um, you may have seen that it's all completely brand new this time around. And what that means is all the lessons I have, there's a core curriculum and an advanced curriculum of lessons there. I don't know how many total, but maybe 20 or so lessons total. Um, they're pretty short on purpose. So I kept them each at around 15 minutes or so a piece. Um, there's also some animations. So I'm teaching in those lessons. I'm walking you through an understanding of, and it really just starts with this exploration of what if, you know, what if you are actually habit free, anxiety free, there are no problems. Everything is fine right now, but this doesn't let us see that. You know, we, we experience psychology that is incredibly habitual and persistent and always there. And that's fine. It's beautiful. But we've come to think that's us. We've come to identify with everything our mind says and our feelings. And we, we confuse our, ourselves with our moving, changing psychology. So we start in this exploration of, yeah, that's all going on. Fine. But what if that has nothing to do with you? Really? What if that is just what's showing up? It's conditioned stuff. It's just, it's kind of, I equate it often like having the hiccups. It's like when you have the hiccups, you don't think, oh my gosh, I'm a hiccup sufferer. <laughs> like it doesn't look personal. It's just what's happening physically, biologically. And I know it might sound kind of crazy right now, but truly what if the thoughts that show up and the stories and the meaning and the identities are really pretty similar to that? It's just this conditioned stuff. It's a story and we go into it. So it makes a lot more sense than just the little bit I'm saying right now. But it's a, it's a brain that is designed to keep us alive and it tries to do everything it can to protect us. And it's trying to protect us from things that are not, we do not need protection from. And it creates our identity and it tries to protect that identity. And you really kind of come to see why our mind is doing what it's doing. And in that it's beautiful because you come to see, okay, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's a beautiful system. We've just come to be afraid of it and misunderstand it. And when that happens, we try to fight it and it looks like the enemy and it's a mess, but it's not truly not a problem. So the lessons in the core and advanced curriculum walk you through this understanding little by little. So they're again, short, it's me teaching, it's all professionally recorded and you get to keep those for life. So people go through them several times for sure. Um, in the course, you might watch them a few times, even after again, you'll have them forever. So we start with this, what if, what if everything's okay? What if this, and we go into how our mind works and we really start to see and open up to what's there beyond your mind. We're looking at all kinds of stuff that comes up when people have habits and anxiety, all the things that look like exceptions, all the yeah, buts, because I've been doing this for quite a while. I know them all, <laughs> almost all of them. So when I'm creating this, I'm like, oh, yep, yeah, here's what people struggle with at this point. Here's the question that looks like it's an exception to the rule at that point. And so it's really amazing because it's, it's informed by all of these years of, of helping people find freedom from these things. Um, and it, and it just flows really nicely. So in addition to the lessons, there are animations. So there's some cool animations that kind of help these ideas come to life just in a new way. It's, it's animations based on what I'm sharing. Um, but you know, the variety helps. There's also some conversations with some of my colleagues. So there are uh, three, I think, yeah, three of those full one hour conversations that I have with other people that share this understanding, which are super helpful. So the content is dripped out in the six week course um, so that there's about an hour each week. When you first join, which would be today, I hope, definitely by Thursday, because that's when enrollment closes. Uh, when you first join, you get the first batch of content, it's about an hour. And then each Friday throughout the course, another hour or so of lessons and animations and conversations are unlocked. 
So everyone in the course watches those on their own, again, maybe a couple times if you want, but you just do that on your own. And then we come together um, starting next week, we come together every Tuesday and every Thursday for 90 minute calls. And in those calls, I uh, talk about you know where we are in the content and I take things a little deeper and I just do that for maybe 15 minutes or so in the beginning and then we open it up and I do a ton of coaching and I answer every question that comes up and that's where this course is like that's where all the change happens really maybe I shouldn't say all but the majority of it because what happens is you're in this group for people from all over the world issues some of them have the same habit you have others have totally different ones and people are sharing and asking their questions and getting coached and you see this over and over and over and it becomes crystal clear like so abundantly obvious and clear wow that could be me that could be me that could be me and what that does is show us that there's a super simple universal way that we all work we struggle so much when we think we're special and we're the only ones and no one has this experience or maybe they have it, but mine's worse. And, and that is just simply how a mind will give it to us. That is how a mind will narrate things to your mind. You are the center of the universe and you're all that matters. And that doesn't make you selfish. It's just how a mind talks. So to come together with a bunch of other people from all over the world with a variety of issues and see how we're all exactly the same is amazing. It is amazing. And that's, to me, that's what I think is just the most helpful thing here is people and people and hear this all the time, right? People start to say, wow, it just doesn't feel so heavy and so personal. And I can see how it's just conditioning because that guy over there in Italy has it. And that lady over there in Romania has it too. And it's just like mine. And, you know, and it just, and you see it in different topics and different habits. And it just becomes so clear that we're all the same. So we do our calls, lots of coaching, lots of sharing, and you can totally feel free to not share if you want. It's completely optional. Um, those calls are all recorded. So you also have the recordings of those calls for life. So all that recorded content is yours to keep. Uh, if you have to miss calls, it's not a problem at all. You just watch the recording. In addition to the calls and the content, we have a private forum. It's not on Facebook, it's in our website. And it's myself and three other change coaches that are there all the time. So anytime you have a question, something you want to talk about, ask about in this course, support that you need, you're going to get a response pretty quickly. You're either going to get it live talking to me on the calls and or you're going to get it on the forum way faster. Pretty much, you know, whenever you post, we're there kind of supporting you. So, um, it's pretty incredible. Like, and I know that I, I, I probably sound very biased in saying that, but again, what's incredible about it is not me or, and what I've created. It's just a container for looking in a really different direction. And what's, this, what's incredible, what makes it so amazing is people come together and see themselves in each other and things just open up. Like it just, this feeling of being all alone and I'm different and I'm broken and I don't know how to get myself out of this. That's universal. That is just what a mind says. That has nothing to do with you. Nothing at all. It has nothing to do with your life. It has nothing to do with your habit. It's just how a mind talks. So you get in this container of the school and you start seeing that everybody's mind is saying those things and it just goes away. It just starts to look ridiculous. And when when what your mind is saying on repeat starts to look ridiculous, you're in pretty good shape. <laughs> like You're good. You're good. You know, your mind's still going to talk. It'll talk for life, but you get onto it. Like you just come to see it in a different way. And the, I mean, it, honestly, it's just, you're good from there. So that's a little bit, let me check and see if there are any questions. That's a little bit about the format of the course, um, how it works. Um, things like that, you know, what you get to keep, um, all of that good stuff. Um, one other question. So often there are questions and I get these every time around, you can fill in the blanks with different details, but there's always questions about like, oh, well, I've, I've tried 
blah, 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 you know, and that didn't help me. Will this help me? Or does it help with this issue or that issue? So, um, again, this, this is really different from, I think anything really that's out there, anything. It's so different from any kind of therapy. And the main difference there is that therapy looks at this, this therapy for by and large is looking at your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, right? That's psychology. It's looking at your psychology. It's wanting you to see, trying to help you see your psychology in a new way. Like, let's see your thoughts in a new way. Let's see your feelings in a new way. Let's be, let's practice being with feelings. Let's, let's think about different behaviors. It's all in this. And there's a time and place for that. That's not, I'm not saying anything bad about that, but this isn't that. The Little School of Big Change is not this. It's looking in a completely different direction. In a way, a lot of therapies kind of dig into this and they're like sifting through and it's like, okay, there's behavioral therapy or we'll change our thoughts and, and or there's, you know, feeling focused kinds of therapies. And that's why there's like 700 different therapies, right? What we're doing here when we look at things in this way is we're kind of, we're kind of lumping all of this together. Like, okay, that's experience. You think things, things show up in thought. We feel things, we do things, fine. But let's just set that over there. Like psychology comes and goes. We think, feel, and do things. And then there's a new moment. But what happens is we get so identified with our mind that we don't just, we don't let life refresh. Life doesn't look fresh. You know, I mean, that's kind of the definition of a habit, right? Or any problem is this keeps happening. This keeps coming up. So when we're identified with thought, life does not look fresh. It looks like the same thing happened as yesterday and it's probably going to happen tomorrow. And it's really hard, really hard there to feel much joy or peace or excitement because again, we're just living in like this constant loop of the same old stuff. And that's not life. That is not life showing up that way. That's your mind narrating it that way. That's a mind, you know, saying, here's you and here's your problem and here's what's likely to happen. Now, again, that's not, doesn't mean your mind's broken. There's a great reason for that. That's what a brain tries to do to protect us. A brain, in order to keep this physical body alive, which is all your brain cares about, it, it wants to see what's coming. It wants to know you and who you are and what happens for a person like you. And it, because that gives it this, perceived predictive ability, you know, so we can see what's coming down the line because, you know, back in the day, that's how, that's how we came to be. Our earliest ancestors had brains that were saying, oh no, potential problem. They got out of the way, they survived, came to see us 200,000 years later. So our brain has evolved to look for issues, to solve problems, to try to keep this physical body alive. When we come to see, oh, that's all that's happening there. That is at the root, truly of habits, anxiety, all of it is a brain doing what it's designed to do. Totally what it's meant to do. And us thinking it's a problem, us fighting against it, pushing against it, trying to change it, trying to manipulate it. And it just creates more tension when that happens. And it just makes problems by us trying to change things where we look is just simply understanding simply saying it's not a problem. It's doing what it's meant to do. You're not broken. And as people see that, what, what is there to push against and fight against? So this is a totally different direction than therapy. And even if you've tried a million things, it doesn't matter because it's a totally different direction, right? So like, it wouldn't surprise me that mucking around in psychology hasn't helped. Now on that, a similar uh, question is, I've been people saying like, I've been looking in this direction for a little while. How is this different? How will the little school of big change help me? Or how will it be different? Uh, people sit, people say they've read my books or listened to my podcast, other teachers that share a similar kind of understanding. They've been studying that sometimes for quite a while. And usually they say they've seen quite a bit, you know, they've seen some stuff, but maybe they're, they have a little habit. not living it as much as I want to. So the thing there is 
a lot of things when we're just off reading a book or listening to a podcast, that's wonderful, wonderful. Um, but it kind of leaves us in our own head, you know, to interpret things, to try to figure things out. Again, the main reason why I created this school is to be able to walk people through this understanding in real time, giving support, helping you see, oh, you're just in a blind spot. That's thought too, but it doesn't look like thought too. Or, um, you know, oh, this meaning that you're giving to this thing, see, that's thought too. <laughs> Your mind just created that meaning. Like, so really going through this and working through this. So if everything you've done has been sort of on your own, again, I, I watch a ton of YouTube videos and read books and that's wonderful, but it's not the same. So this is a guided immersion, like, and that is what it's designed for. That's why we have this forum and all these calls, so much interaction and it, and having other people and watching them wake up again is where so much happens. Also, I think a lot of us, just because of the nature of how information is out there, you know, we, we pick and choose and we see little things here and there, podcast here or a webinar over there. But I don't know of anything in this sort of understanding that is designed the way the little school of big change curriculum is, where it literally holds your hand and like, when well, I don't literally hold your hand, but it almost literally holds your hand and walks you through this. And there has been so much testing and time and attention given to how this curriculum was developed so that it it answers the questions that come up almost before you even have them you know it is just incredibly complete so complete and then again we're here for whatever might be missed in that but i think there's something amazing to that and i think again that's really rare there aren't a lot of courses that start with what if everything's okay walk you through how, why your mind does everything that it does so that you kind of come to see okay i don't have to worry about this this is not a problem and then open you up to who you really are and what's there beyond thought like i don't know anything that does it in quite this way so it's a container it's a curated experience you know it's very very different than oh, a few podcasts or even even hundreds of podcasts they are in a course, you know, podcasts are on different topics and you for sure get a lot from that. It's not the same as, as being walked through something, you know, guided through something from start to finish. So those are really common questions. And I, I know that I put out a lot of stuff, a lot of free content and I love, you know, enjoy it, make the most of it. And for a lot of people, that's it. That's good for them. But for a lot of people, it isn't. So that's all. This is just an opportunity to really immerse with some guidance if you want to see even more than what you've seen before. And, you know, being in this conversation for however long, it doesn't really matter. There's always more to see. There's always something that's thought that we didn't realize it or just more that we can wake up to. So often people will say like, well, I just, I kind of gave up. I don't think that's going to work for me because I've been listening for two years and I've only gotten this far or whatever. And I just don't think it, I just, again, it, for me and for a lot of people, it keeps getting better. And that doesn't mean it keeps getting better perfectly in this perfect linear progression. I mean, I've for sure had times where I'm like, I think I'm good. I think I'm done. Not good, but I'm, I don't think there's anything more to see. I, you know, I just feel like I'm it. I'm hitting the ceiling of what I can see. And that's never the case. There's always more. It, it can always be simpler. It can always be easier and more joyful and closer to home. And, and, and I just see that for so many people. And again, incredibly common that, that somewhere along the line, and usually many times along the line, someone thinks, okay, I think I've seen all I can, you know, and then boom, whoa, I didn't know it could be that simple. <laughs> like I didn't know I, it could be that much better. So I don't know. I don't know if that helps, but it, uh, I just don't see it working in this linear way at all. And I just, I just keep saying like, man, just stick around, stick around because what does it cost you? You know, like to stay in a conversation and explore. We're not talking about you know, a million steps you have to put into place. We're not talking about changing your life around some strategy or some philosophy at all. It's just a fun, simple exploration that is incredibly deep and, and that has the biggest payoff of anything I've ever come across ever. 
So like, why, why wouldn't you, you know, if life isn't as easy and light and simple as, as you know, it can be, if you don't feel as free as you know, you can, or at, as at home in your life it, with what you're feeling as peaceful around anything that shows up as you know, you can, why wouldn't you just get curious, you know, and, and keep looking. So, yeah, I mean, those are like the big questions that come up a lot. Um, so let me just see if there's any others. Aww. Um, yeah, I just want to invite you to share any questions. Again, uh, once this is over, you can post questions on the chat. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can post comments there. Um, and you can reach out to me. You can send a question to um, my support team at support at dramyjohnson.com. And I'll put that in the, in the comments. Uh, we're just all the time, especially this week, but all the time, we're just there to answer your questions and to help you. So people all the time send questions like, here's what I'm up against. I'm considering it, but here's where I'm, I'm, you know, conflicted or I'm on the fence for this reason. Just talk to me. I'll be happy to talk with you on Zoom. I'll be happy to email with you. Uh, my team will call you back. We have a phone number if you don't want to do email. So we're like all hands on deck this week, especially, but again, throughout the entire course, um, really, really supportive. I, I love my team so much that, I mean, they just, they're amazing at talking people through whatever's going on for them. And if you just write us and say, here's what I'm facing, what do you suggest? You know, they'll let you know. And this is, this is the best course that I have. I'm in there personally helping with you. I mean, it's just amazing changes happen, but there are other options too, you know, so, so you're not going to be pushed into this necessarily, but they'll be happy to kind of share other things with you. So, um, yeah, so just let us know what questions you have and, Remember that enrollment um, closes on Thursday. So it closes on Thursday, February 10th at midnight Eastern time. So we're at Tuesday. We have about 48 hours, a little more, 55 hours or so uh, until enrollment closes. And I do only lead the course twice a year because of all hands on deck because because I'm in there on the forum all the time. It's, you know, it's a lot. It's two 90 minute calls each week, um, which again, they're all recorded. You get to keep them. But uh, it gets to be, it's, it's a big, it's a big immersion for six weeks and you will get as much support as you want or need. That's another question that comes up a lot is, you know, how it's a group course, like how much attention will I get? And I'm so proud to say that if you have a question, it will get addressed. And I don't mean before the course ends. I mean like the, the day you have it, or at least the week you have it, it will be addressed. Because even with a lot of people in this course, I stay on the calls extra if hands are still up. We're on the forum all the time. I have the moderators live, you know, one is in the UK, so she's hitting those time zones. We have some of us here in the US. Uh, we're on the forum all the time. And there's a thread on the forum where you can post questions. And every week I create a video speaking in depth to your questions. So I can promise you, cross my heart, hope to die, if you have questions, any question you have, it will get spoken to and addressed. And so you just get a ton of attention as much as you want. And if you don't want any and you just want to observe, that's fine too. So enrollment closes this Thursday. Um, and again, yeah, because of that high level of support, I only lead this course twice a year. So the next time will be September of 2022, which is like a decade from now or so. It seems like a really long time. <laughs> I'm sitting buried in like a foot of snow out here. So September feels like a really long time from now. Um, and again, because you get to keep this, all the content, everything you get, you keep it for life. Why not do it now? And, and you know, you can keep, you could have all those months rewatching it, going back through it. It's the kind of thing, it's not a learning where, okay, I got that, I'm done it's the kind of thing that you hear new things each time you hear it more deeply every time through. So, you know, there's no, no reason to wait. So let me know what questions you have. Thank you so much for watching. And, and I would just love to welcome you in the school, uh, this week. Um, again, our calls start next week and already students are in there watching the first lessons, getting coaching and support, sharing their insights. And they've already seen some amazing things. So, there's just so much to see and I'd love to have you. So thanks so much for listening. Uh, let me know what's on your mind and I hope to see you in school.
Bye, everyone.